the sister said she was going to report to me. She just, just went through the back. So you just left her to do it, did you? I just said, if you don't, if you don't, um, if you don't do it, I will. I don't suppose you've got a, a ladder handy, have you? Uh, no. Not at all. <laughs> do you have an up to date picture? I've got a ladder on it, you want to get me that? Um, <laughs> it's just to have a look in that loft, that's all. Recording. I'm saying the time, okay, so it's 10 40 in the evening and it's Saturday the 23rd of um, April and it's 2022. We're at Greenbank Police Station in Blackburn. This is an urgent interview with Andrew Burfield. Andrew, this interview is being recorded, okay, so you see them just set up the equipment, alright, it's being filmed as well, alright. Um, just to let you know, my name is Alton, I'm a detective constable, my colour number is 3561 and I work for the Burnley CID department. Also present is my colleague, um, my name is Joe Billington, my colleague number is 3569, I'm also a detective constable and I work here at the Highland Sea and Jimmy Can you just give me a full name please, Andrew? Yes, yeah, Andrew John Burfield. And your date of birth? 301071. And your address please? 61 Tobin Road, Burnley. Thank you that. Um, you've been arrested on suspicion of a kidnap with Casey Kenyon, I yeah. understand that's why you're in course today. Um, this interview is an urgent interview to try and ascertain the whereabouts of Katie currently. All right, I'm aware that you've requested legal representation, um, but at the moment we have been authorised by the superintendent to conduct this urgent interview because there is a real concern for the safety of Katie, and you will get a chance to speak to a solicitor later on. Okay. I need to caution that you do not have to say anything, but anything you do say may be given in evidence because you don't have to answer these questions. Yeah. Um, anything you say can be used in court if we get to that point. Alright. It's a very simple question, Andrew. Can you tell me where Katie is? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. So is there any clue you can give us as to where she might be? I did give you a clue earlier on. Um, I think she's a, a rehab centre. A rehab centre? Or some sort of clinic. Right, okay. And where would that be? I haven't got a clue. Right, okay. Um, and why do you think that she's at that location? Because that's not that location, more than locations, yeah. I think, because that's what she told her. That's what she wanted to do. Right, okay. So that's, she's given an indication that that's yeah. what, what she wanted to do. Um, but you're telling me you don't know where she is? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to appeal to you now to, to let me know if you, if you do know anything at all. That's right, I can't get her myself. Yeah. Okay, because I'm sure you're aware that her family are really, really concerned. Yeah. Um, the last place she's known to be is parked up on your road. Yeah, good. Yeah. Which is obviously why you're in custody today. So it's reasonable for us to think that you may know where she is. Yeah, okay. Alright. So please, if you do not. I don't, honestly. Alright. Joe. Hello, Andrew. So, like, as I said, we are. We have got concerns for Katie, yeah. a family really concerned about her. Um, from, from our perspective, this appears to be a character for Katie. Is there anything that you can tell us further to what you've already said? No, I'm going to assist us to make the locator tonight, make sure she's, yeah. she's okay. I did say that the one. I did say to the officers earlier, I mean, this, they left. I went and got tea, tea sorted out with kids. I didn't think they had nothing to arrest them. Mm. What I said was, I'll go there and I'll, I'll write everything down. Um, and have a list for you. Because they're asking me stuff when, when you were going through my phone. So I said, we're my phone, I don't know. Uh, we can't answer it. So that's what I didn't intend to do tonight. But I'll be Where is the last location that you know that she was? My house. Right, so you know she was at your house? Yes. Okay, and when was that? It was at uh, 9.20 yesterday morning. Right. So I've since said you don't know the whereabouts. I don't know where she's going from there, no. Right. Okay. All right then. Okay, we needed to give you that opportunity to say, if you didn't know, yeah. just tell us. I get it, but I'm, I've been arrested for kidnapping. Yeah. She's going to be dead, she, you know, dying or something. Well, yeah. yeah. You know, we need Actually, to... that's not the case. She obviously could be in any state that we want to do everything we can to locate her. No? No. All right, okay. I don't have any more questions, I'm sure, do you? No. Alright, then. Is there anything else you want to say before we no. So I don't want to get into anything else at the moment, it's for, just yeah, for that, that one reason. Okay, so the time is now uh, 10, is it 10 44, and I'll conclude the interview.
thing. This is where they pick things. Okay, this, okay. Stand up for me, Andrew. Stand up. Come over here. Watch your head. Yeah.